click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all. We are with chapter 5 of Digital Image Processing. We have a chapter Image Enhancement into the Frequency Domain. The various improvement techniques so that the image visualization can be better we are dealing with. So with the knowledge of Fourier transform, we have tried all these improvements. So we have the ideal type of low pass filter, Gaussian type of low pass filter, the Butterworth type of the low pass filter, the corresponding high pass filters are also reported in this chapter. So now, just now we have covered the topic homomorphic filtering into the previous video. Also we have a knowledge of Laplacian into the frequency domain. So in this particular family, we carry forward the filtering process to make the enhancement. So this time we shall be having a knowledge of how the band pass, band stop, band reject filtering can be there. So they can be learned under the heading that is selective filtering. So let us begin with the topic. So here we begin with our topic selective filtering. So as you can see here, a signal can be filtered by having a selection of specific frequency ranges. So this is simply called as the selective filtering. If you take the case of one dimensional signal, see here, let us say this is the original signal. So the original signal possesses the low frequency region onto the left hand side also the high frequency region onto the right hand side. If you can observe here, the frequency goes on increasing from left hand side to the right hand side here. When we apply a low pass filter to such one dimensional signal, this is the low pass filtered output here. So now as you can see here, whatever the area of high frequency into the signal it was, that has completely been suppressed here and only the low frequency portion has only been allowed to regenerate here. Hence we call this to be the low pass filtered signal here. On the other hand, we can also have suppression of low frequency values and only the regeneration of the high frequency components. So here we can say here this is nothing but the high pass filtered signal here. So this is the case of one dimensional signal. When we combine them both, that means it forms a band pass filter. Few of the low frequency portion we have filtered here, few of the high frequency portion we have rejected here. So now we have only a frequency range selective to the values here that has been generated into the output. Hence we can call them to be the band pass filtered signal. Similarly, we can also reject a selective band of frequencies. Hence, the filter can be called as band stop filter. Here, you can see the image that shows you the portion of the image that has the frequency region less than some specified criteria into the low frequency value and the specified criteria having the threshold onto the high frequency value. So, more than that threshold have been generated into the output signal here. So this is all the case we have dealt for the one dimensional signal as image is our signal, a two dimensional signal, we can carry forward these filtering techniques that is selective filtering for the images here for the purpose of image enhancement. So now in general we can represent f of xy into h of xy. f of xy can be the representation of the input original image. H of xy can be the representation of the filtering function. When we have convolution of the two into the spatial domain, we produce g of xy the resultant image. Further, we know that when we get switch from spatial domain to that of the frequency domain, we have the convolution operation nothing but the multiplication of the corresponding Fourier representations. So small f of xy is represented as capital F of u comma v. Whereas the filter function small h of xy is represented as capital H of u comma v. So here we had the convolution in the spatial domain. 
now we perform simple multiplication element to element in this fourier domain and we finally find the fourier representation of the filtered image represented as capital g of u comma v here so in this particular block diagram we take a simple example where the original image having one animal horse represented the grayscale image we have here represented so very first of all we perform effective operation getting it shifted to the frequency domain so next to that we find the image spectrum available to us because of this operation on the another hand we have a filter mask developed here so the filter mask can be visualized here the filter mask along with the image spectrum that we have obtained we provide these two as inputs to the pixel by pixel multiplication operation so this results into the filtered spectrum further we can perform the inverse effective operation so that whatever the filtering we have obtained into the frequency domain we can get displayed into the spatial domain so this is the filtered image the traces of the animal shape you can see after we perform this type of filtering so now here we can have the first case represented h of u comma v as the filter function specified into the frequency domain whereas case 2 for the h of x comma y in the small cases representing the specification of the filter function into the spatial domain here that we have discussed so very first of all we shall be dealing with the low pass filtering here the low pass filters are also known for the smoothening effect onto the image objects here they are also called as the smoothing filters so here the preservation of the low frequency components useful for the purpose of noise separation is taken place here the example can be described with the help of these diagrams here so here we have on the left hand side the graph representing the low pass filter into the spatial domain in the frequency domain we find such a pulse here such a curvature that has been centered around this origin here now the corresponding representation into the fourier domain after the fourier transform operation we have here f of u for the single dimension of the input signal here h1 of u for the filter mask here that is h1 of u represented graphically also the f of u when we have the multiplication of the two the convolution of the two into the spatial domain can be carried out and here we have the resultant filtered signal that has been represented f of u into h1 of u so this is the low pass filtering for the cases of noise suppression here so the values of the cutoff values that is u suffix c the general values for the band limit that is u suffix 0 we can visualize in the graphs here so as like this low pass filtering we have dealt with we have the high pass filtering that are popular for the purpose of sharpening of the objects into the image scenario hence they are also known to be the sharpening filters so here the preservance of the high frequency components so that they are useful for the edge detection purpose is carried out under the high pass filters so here we describe the example for the one dimensional case with the help of these graphs here so on the left hand side you see a curvature representing high pass filter here in the corresponding frequency domain we have such a lobe here so now this lobe has some portion into the negative side also now in the frequency domain as we take the fourier transform for the one dimensional signal we have f of u h2 of u represents the fourier transform representation of the filter mask here filter function here the multiplication of the two gives us the product f of u into h2 of u the fourier information representation for the filtered signal here so this is high pass filtering and here we have 
the age detection as the application possible with this. Now, after the knowledge of low pass filtering and high pass filtering, we can get to the very first popular type of selective filtering that it is band pass filtering. So here we are preserving the frequency components within a certain specified band. So here we can represent such a nature of the curvature into the spatial domain we have on left hand side. Taking the example of the one dimensional signal and on to the right hand side we have the corresponding frequency domain representation. Representing the signal, the filter mask into the Fourier transform and carrying its particular multiplication so that the filtered information of the signal represented as f of u into h3 of u that is the filter mask here. So this is the band pass filtering. The image restoration application is made possible by such filters here. Band pass filtering can further be represented with the help of the filter function denoted capital H of u comma v in Fourier transform or the Fourier frequency domain we can say here opting the values 0 when we have the d of u comma v less than or equal to d0 minus w by 2 whereas it opts the value 1 when we have d of u v in the range d0 minus w by 2 up to d0 plus w by 2. On the another hand, it can opt the value 0 when we have d of u v greater than d0 added with w by 2 here. Here d of u v is computed as simply the square root of addition of squares of the frequency domain parameters that are u and v here. While d0 is the representation of the cutoff frequency here, w represents the bandwidth value. So now this is the three dimensional look for the filter function h of u comma v for our case. So here we have the frequency domain dimensions u and v represented on this particular plane and the third dimension represents the amplitude level here. In the two dimensional case it can also be represented h of u comma v versus d of u comma v. So here the value of 1 can be obtained only for d0 minus w by 2 up to d0 added with w by 2 which is centered at the cutoff frequency value d suffix 0. Now we also have the band stop filters which we can treat as the duals of band pass filters here. So how do the band stop filters work or band stop filters look like that is the question. So in the one dimensional case we can represent the graph like this here. This is of the band pass and band stop is exactly reverse of the same here. So as we have the pick of the curvature onto the positive side for the band pass case for the negative side we have the band stop pick here. Now we have the band rejection filtering in this particular case. The filter function in the frequency domain represented as capital H of u comma v opts the value 0 when we have d0 greater than or equal to d1 of u comma v. The cutoff frequency is greater in this case or we can also have the cutoff frequency d0 by the cutoff frequency d0 greater than or equal to d2 of u comma v. Otherwise, we can opt the filter function mask with the value 1. Where we have the d1 of u comma v computed as the square root of u minus u0 square added with v minus v0 square d2 of u comma v is computed by taking the square root of u plus u0 square added with v plus v0 square here. Now d0 is equal to low frequency radius that is the cutoff value we have denoted into the graphical form here. Now u0 and small v0 are the local frequency 
coordinates that can be displayed as the axis values here. In the three dimensional case, the band stock or the band reject type of the filtering can be visualized for the function h of u, v here. u and v, the axis are represented here. You can see here the two lobes are pointed towards the negative side here. In the two dimensional case, we have the representation like this h of u, v on the vertical line having the amplitude 1 for the specific range here that have been represented with the help of minus of u0, minus of v0, the positive u0, v0, we have representation along with the d0, the cutoff or the radius value we can say here. Now we shall be discussing the local frequency filtering here where the filter mass can be h of u, v opting the value 1 for d1 of u, v less than or equal to d0 or d2 of u, v less than or equal to the cutoff or the radius value d0 here. Otherwise, it should be opting the value 0. Here, d1 of u, v is computed by taking the square root of u minus u0 square added with v minus v0 square, the same value we have represented in the previous case. Also, the d2 of u, v is equal to the square root of u plus u0 square added with we have v plus v0 square. d0 is the local frequency radius as represented and v0 and u0 are the local frequency coordinates. This is the representation into the three dimensional case here. h of uv the filter function or the filter mass. In the two dimensional case we have such a representation with the maximum amplitude value 1 representing h of uv for the specified ranges like this. So I hope the selective filtering is very clear to you people so that we can make the image enhancement for the various purposes here. Now by the next lecture we shall be addressing the topic MATLAB program for the frequency domain bandpass filtering here. I hope you enjoy learning the digital image processing concepts along with the practice of the same in the MATLAB environment. For more information and the knowledge of the subject, you can subscribe to eKeda channel. Thank you.